Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we have another algebraic equation that we are going to solve. So we have k times k times k plus k is equal to 30 and we are given to find the value of k. Now as usual you can always pause this video to see if you can solve this one by yourself or you may check out my Math Olympiad playlist to see how to solve other algebraic equations like these ones. Now as we are about to solve our equation, you may want to save this video for future reference so you can hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates on the solving math equations like these ones. Now our equation states that we have k times k times k plus k is equal to 30. We can start solving this problem by multiplying k times k times k. So that's going to give us k to the third plus k is equal to 30. We then take the 30 and we bring it to the left hand side of the equation. It's a positive, so it's going to become negative. So we have k to the third plus k minus 30 is equal to zero. Now from here, we take negative 30 and we're going to simplify it as negative 27 minus three. We take negative 27 because 27 is a cubic number, which is actually 3 to the power of 3. So that's 3 cubes. So we'll take that and we will plug it into our equation. So then we will have k to the third minus 3 to the 3. So 3 cubes plus k. I will take that and we subtract 3 from it and we say is equal to 0. Doing this enables us to simplify our equation so we can express k to the third minus k to the third as a difference of two cubes. So that means a cubed minus b cube is expanded as having a pair of double brackets, a minus b in one pair and in the other pair we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. So we'll rewrite k to the third minus 3 to the third using that form of expansion. So using that, we'll start here with we'll k minus 3 in the first pair of brackets and in the second pair of brackets we'll have k squared plus 3k plus 3 squared. Close that bracket and then we'll have plus k minus 3 is equal to 0. Now if you realize we have k minus 3 twice, this means we can factor k minus 3 and incorporate into this part here. So let's go ahead and do just that. So from here, we'll have k minus 3 in the first pair of bracket, and in the second pair of bracket, we'll have k squared plus 3k plus 9. And then we factor k minus 3 by having plus 1. And then we close that bracket, and we have that equal to 0. This then means that we have k minus 3 is equal to 0. And we also have k squared plus 3k plus 9 plus 1 gives us 10. So we have plus 10 is equal to 0. Then from here, we solve k by adding 3 on both sides of the equation. So 3 will be cancelled out on the left. And on the right, we'll just have 0 plus 3. That means that k is equal to 3. And for our next solution, we have what is called a quadratic equation. Where the values of a, b, and c is given as a equals 1, b equals positive 3, c equals positive 10. So from here we solve k using our quadratic formula where we would have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then we plug in the values of a, b, and c into this formula here. So that means we'll have k is equal to negative b, which we know that b is 3, so we'll have negative in bracket 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. And then we have all of this over 2 times 1. And now from here we say k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, we know that 3 squared gives us 9. We have minus 4 times 1 times 10 gives us 40, and 2 times 1 gives us 2, so it's all over 2. And then we continue by saying k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 gives us negative 31, and we have all of this over 2. And then from here, we see that negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31, we can times that by the square root of negative 1 all over 2. Now in mathematics, the square root of negative 1 is represented by the letter i. 
Now this therefore means that the value of k, so we'll have k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31 i and we have this all over 2. Now understanding this we can see here that our value for k here is what we call a complex solution. So here we have k is equal to 3. This is our real solution to this problem. Now having our real solution, we can verify this. So see if we plug it into our equation, we will get our result to be true. So from here, let's verify that k is equal to 3. So we rewrite our original equation so that k times k times k plus k is equal to 30. And again, as we did earlier, we see that we can rewrite this as just having our k multiplying together. We would have k to the third plus k is equal to 30. Now using this, we can fill in the value of k, which is here. So we'll say 3 to the third plus 3 is equal to 30. 3 to the third gives us 27. So we'll have 27 plus 3 is equal to 30. And from here we know that 27, so we'll take 27 and add that to 3, it does give us 30. So we know that our value for k is indeed true. The variable k definitely equals 3. Thanks again for staying with me to the end of this video. I hope that this was very informative. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more map updates like this. And until then, I will see you soon. Take care and thanks again.